Right, guys, I'm at Kyoto Station. Why? Because today is a very exciting day. We've got Sayuli, who's our singer and songwriter. She's coming from Tokyo to make the music video for Runaway. Super, super cool. Oh my gosh, I completely couldn't see you. <laughs> How did you do that? Can I take the, yeah, yeah, the case? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Sayuli desu. <laughs> Sayuli is a bilingual singer-songwriter raised in both Japan and New Zealand. A shared interest in social activism brought Sayuli and Dean together, and they have been friends ever since. Jesus said them down the road, we can be the change we want. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> With no time to lose, Sayuli boards a rickshaw where she will perform the runaway song while being transported <laughs> through the streets of Kyoto. My name is Yota Hora. Mm. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Is she heavy? Not so heavy. <laughs> not so heavy. You should say not at He's all. Very <laughs> kind. Such very a gentleman. It's a piece of cake. Piece no. of cake. <laughs> These rickshaws can be hired around the area of the Silver Pavilion Temple. Visitors can take a private tour from just 12 minutes to a full two hours. <laughs> is the first place most foreigners head for their Japanese experience. Still one of the biggest cities in Japan and for a thousand years the capital. Yet somehow it has miraculously preserved its culture, history and spiritual significance. We think that from the elegance of its temples and from the beauty and refinement of the geisha, the soul of Japan found here in Kyoto is Miyabi, a Japanese traditional aesthetic and a word that epitomizes grace. Next time on Runaway, Dean is joined by a special guest to ride a massive 200-kilometer day cycle. Things get spooky with a walk down Gegege no Kitaro's Ghost Street, and the team end their journey on the sacred Mount Mitoku. It's time to run.